This is a Tuscan Reader review of Star Wars Knight Errant by John Jackson Miller. <laughs> this book was published in 2011, it takes place during the Old Republic era, like 1032 years before A New Hope or the Battle of Yavin. Of course, the great battle with the uh, trench run. Luke Skywalker saves the day. Let's read the back of the book to get uh, the summary here, to find out what this story is all about. It says, An original adventure featuring Jedi Kara Holt, star of the hot new Dark Horse Knight Errant comics. I never read those. A thousand years before Luke Skywalker, a generation before Darth Bane, in a galaxy far, far away. The Republic is in crisis. The Sith are roaming unchecked, vying with one another to dominate the galaxy. But one lone Jedi, Kara Holt, is determined to take down the Dark Lords. Her enemies are strange and many. Lord Damien, who imagines himself the creator of the universe. Lord Odeon, who intends to be its destroyer. The curious siblings Quillen and Dramica, the enigmatic Arcadia. So many wearing Sith weaving a patchwork of brutality, with only Kara Holt to defend the innocents caught underfoot. Sensing a sinister pattern in the chaos, Kara embarks on a journey that will take her into fierce battles against even fiercer enemies. With one against so many, her only chance of success lies with forging alliances among those who serve her enemies, including a mysterious Sith spy and a clever mercenary general. But... Will they be her adversaries or her salvation? Now this includes this book right here includes a special full color excerpt of the Dark Horse Comics. Star Wars Knight Errant. So what did I think of Star Wars Knight Errant? I think this book was a little bit boring. The second half was much better. Uh, John Jackson Miller, though, he always does write excellent characters. Um, I think this book would be better appreciated if you did read the comic books. And that's something that I just didn't do. I, I didn't have the time to read those. I'm trying to read as many of the Star Wars books as I can, and I think sometimes that can hinder some of the material that you absorb, you know? Um, first half of the book, like I said, it is just kind of boring. Second half picked up a little bit. Um, the main character, Kara Holt, she's not very entertaining. Not really at all. I mean, the dialogue of the book was fine. I do like how the Sith are at war with each other. Like, they just can't get along. They're fighting for power. So, like, they're, they're working against themselves. Um, and I don't know if maybe I there's something that I miss by not reading the comic books. It's like, I, I'm pretty sure they're all family. Like, the Sith, they read like they were all part of a big family. Like, maybe that family means blood-related. Or maybe it means, like, mobster-type family. Like, oh, we're family. You know what I mean? Um, because I don't know what I mean. But anyway, this book, I give it a D. It's highly forgettable. Um, it's a companion piece for sure. Got to read that comic, I think, to get a better understanding of actually what's happening. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I think this is the first and the last time we saw Kara Holt was, uh, Knight Errant and the tie-in comic book. So, I don't think you should read this book. Don't waste your time. Read something else. May the force be with you.